The next part of the problem, part B, gives us some additional information. Alpha is still 0 0.05. My sample size is still 75. The 0.05 level of significance is there evidence that the proportion of incorrect reimbursements in the population was greater than 0.1. So now we're looking at proportions in the population. And it actually says proportion greater than 0 0.10. And you notice we use population proportion to describe this claim. Okay, and in this example, this will be the alternative hypothesis since there's no equality in this statement. And so our null hypothesis will be the opposite, pi less than or equal to 0 0.10. Okay, so that's first step. Next step, what is the sampling distribution? Well, since this is a population proportion, we know automatically that this is going to be a Z distribution. Okay, and uh, that's because we're dealing with proportions, and in our class it will always be based on the Z distribution or the normal distribution. Let's put that here. Normal distribution. All right, now. The next step, we need to designate the tails and sketch them. So I'm going to draw the graph, roughly, the normal distribution. Our alternative hypothesis designates which tail of a test this is. And since pi greater than 0 0.10, this greater than points to the right. As a little clue, we know that this is going to be a right-tailed test. So this is the rejection region. And we need the critical value, Z crit, which is very simple using the normal distribution. Okay, so let's see if we can find that value. Um, it's based off of our alpha, which is 0 0.05. So I'm going to go to Minitab, go to Graph, Probability Distribution Plot. I want to choose view probability and I want to select the normal distribution the mean is 0 the standard deviation is 1 that's correct even though it's a proportion we're still using the standard normal distribution the shaded area we choose probability we choose a right tail since we're looking at the proportion is greater than 0.1 Alpha is 0 0.05, that's correct. We hit OK. And we have our critical value 1.645. So we're going to use that as a critical value. 1.645. Okay, so now we've defined the rejection region. Of course, if we're using alpha, we've already got the rejection region. We're comparing the p value to alpha. Um, but now we're ready to move on to. Um, looking at the statistics that we have. And if you remember in our original problem, it said that there were 12 incorrect reimbursements. And we're looking at, is there evidence that the proportion of incorrect reimbursements in the population was greater than 0.1? So our data matches what the question is asking about incorrect reimbursements. So the proportion of the sample will suffice for our statistic that we need. So we need to compute. The sample statistic, the proportion, is going to be 12 divided by 75, since that's the sample size. And that is equal to 0.16. Okay, so our sample data now needs to be converted into data that's useful for our hypothesis test. So we need the test statistics. We need the p-value, we need the critical value, um, I should say the test statistic. And we're going to use Minitab to find that. But we know what the proportion is, 0.16. We also know that 12 is the number of events that have the characteristic of um, not having the correct reimbursement. Okay, so let's go to Minitab to continue. All right, so Minitab, I'm going to minimize this. Stat, basic statistics, we're going to one proportion. 
we don't need to use the z-test in this case. Um, the one proportion works. The important thing to remember, we'll get to it in uh, a minute, is that this is going to be based on the normal distribution. Okay, so number of events, that's the number of entities in the set that have the certain characteristic of interest. In this case, it's 12. Number of trials is 75. We do want to perform a hypothesis test. The hypothesized proportion, remember, is 0 0.10. Options, we need to make sure, as I said, that we use the test and interval based on the normal distribution. Our alpha is OK. The alternative is greater than, the proportion is greater than 0 0.10. We click OK. And this will give us the data for our z test for the proportion. Okay, so we've got a z value. 1.73. We've got a p-value 0.042. When you start doing a lot of hypothesis tests, you can very easily know whether you're going to reject or accept the null hypothesis. And the p-value is the quickest way to tell. Since I know the alpha is 0.05 and the p-value is 0 0.04, which is less than 0.05, I'm going to know very quickly that I'm going to reject the null hypothesis. But let's write that formally. Okay, so we need to Go to our problem here. Our z value 1.73 for the z stat is over here someplace. And so our z stat is over there. That says it's in the rejection region. If I don't have the z stat and the z crit, the p value is probably the best thing to use. We know that the p value is equal to 0 0.042 as told to us. By mini tab, and that is less than 0 0.05, which is alpha. And so again, we reject HO. Obviously, both types of hypothesis tests using the critical value or the p value is going to lead to the same conclusion. Okay, so now that we've gotten to this point, we then use our statistical conclusion, which we say. Reject HO. We have enough evidence to support the alternative, to support H sub 1. And our business conclusion is we have evidence that shows. The population proportion of reimbursements that are incorrect is greater than 10%. Okay, so we've got our statistical conclusion, we've got our business conclusion. And my handwriting's bad, but um, the idea is correct that you want to do both conclusions. Okay.